Hello everyone, Eric Hall with the Blaze of Glory. Well, I've got another one of those thought-provoking questions. It's about the creek. This has been bothering me for about the last month or so. You know, we've debated in the past, do we go up a creek, down a creek? Is it a flooded creek, a dry creek? Well, my question today is, what if there is no creek? What if there is no creek involved in this search at all? We all know how Forrest Finn likes to play with words and phrases. What if there'll be no paddle up your creek really refers to that cliche, you're up a creek without a paddle. You know, you're screwed. Imagine how that would fit into the poem and read that third stanza. You know, put in below the home of Brown. From there it is no place for the meek. The end is ever drawing nigh. You're really screwed this time. Just heavy loads and water high. Now if you read the poem that way, how might that change your search area? Does that mean you need to stop right here and look for the treasure along, along the canyon, along the river? You need to look here because, you know, you're screwed. If you keep going, you're going over the waterfall. You know, what if it means something tragic is ahead? You need to stop here. Would that change how you interpret the poem? Well, tell me what you think about this. Do you think there has to be a creek, or do we need to completely reinterpret the poem with all of these new possibilities about how, how Forest Fan thinks. Let me know in the comments below, and remember to click, like, share, subscribe, and donate.